Do you guys know the worst part of this whole story? Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. At the end of you, then you know who is here. So let's get into the business of today. Okay, guys, if you're new, today's going to be a whole different vibe. Like, we are coming to gist, we are coming to interact. So I'm going to share my experience with you guys uh, with the challenges I've had being a makeup artist. You know, some time back. I've been a makeup artist for like five years now. So yeah, I'm just going to share my little challenges with you. So that you can also tell me, you know, what you think in the comment section. And also if you've had challenges too like me, or even worse than me, or probably better than me. <laughs> you can share in the comment section. So I'll be looking forward to that. So yeah, I've had, um, you know, in Ghana here, um, I'm a makeup artist based in Ghana, obviously. So, and I'm a Nigerian too. So you can imagine being a Nigerian in Ghana as a makeup artist. That's one kind of the language barrier is one hard thing. You know, people thinking that oh, you're a Nigerian, you're this, you're that. You already know what's up. They already they've already seen you as um, some kind of bad person like that. So it was a bit difficult, you know, getting into the industry and stuff. But I was happy that, you know, I knew people that were also Nigerian here in Ghana in the industry and kind of like helped me break my way in. So, but during that break in, hmm, I met clients. I mean, clients that that would, that changed that changed like the whole game for me. That made me talk to myself and say you other you are not going to you're not going to um, limit yourself just because of what this person have done to you so yeah i had this um i had this um client i went to work on now this client is rude i mean so rude this client i went to work on her i actually got the gift from a makeup artist friend she gave me the gig and went to do the job. I went to do the job alone. You know, that time I was still working by myself with myself. <laughs> Nobody was assisting me, you know, nothing, nothing. You know, the stress of having to carry ring lights, makeup chair, and then your makeup box and all that to a, a particular location. It was a whole stressful journey. Then getting there. You ask the client the kind of makeup they want, they tell you, oh, they want this type of makeup, and then you start doing it. They are pressing their phone. They are not even letting you do the job, oh. You are doing the job. They are pressing their phone. They are talking. They are saying a whole lot of things. Now, then they'll put you, they'll put you on post mode and tell you, oh, let me come back. Oh, I'll be right back. They'll go check, check on their kids or probably go to the kitchen, do one kind of thing like that. Wait for them to understand. You call makeup artist, make makeup artist come do your makeup. What do you want me to do? Patient though, they used to say customer is always right. Abby, we waited, I waited. So, as I waited for her to go and do her thing and then come back and come and meet me and stuff like that, she came back, she sat down back. You know, you are stressing yourself. I'm doing makeup. What do you expect? I put foundation, I haven't even set it. I put concealer, I haven't even set it. You stood up. What were you expecting? You are going to see creases, you are going to see lines, you are going to see breakage in the makeup that I'm doing. So you need to like chill. That's why makeup is like done in a chilled area and stuff. So she came back. I told her, oh, that please, if she can just let me do the concealing part and stuff. So you know, let me let me tell you something. I think initially the client was not even happy because the makeup artist that was supposed to do the job for her didn't come to do the job. So she actually, so that makeup artist now referred me to do the makeup. Do you get, you know, some clients they are like that. If that makeup artist they want don't turn up and you refer another makeup, they give that other makeup artist to that. I don't know why. Do you think that makeup artist that you call will give you a bad makeup artist that will come and do a nonsense makeup for you? I don't understand. Why can't they treat me like that? 
it was so unfair i felt really bad and stuff but yeah you know as a strong person that i am and i had to just like soak in and take in all the embarrassment and all the talk and everything do you guys know the worst part of this whole story when i was telling her that please your under eye has kind of creased let me just blend it and then set it then you can get up and go and do whatever i want to do this matter i'm good sky the wine which is a drink what on my face she poured the wine on my face guys she did that juice gango she she did that to me can you imagine but here i am i didn't you know if 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 i had wanted to stop being a makeup artist just because of her then i wouldn't be here today i wouldn't be where i am today so yeah for this i have learned i've learned so much from from you know how to treat clients what to do and what not to do and all these things i get to teach my students i get i get to actually tell them my experience so that whenever they come around so that whenever they get somebody that treats them so bad they don't feel so bad they know that they have to be in that you have to be in this stage for you to get to the top i don't know if you get what i mean so yeah so finally finally now so you take up for me that was my story that's one of my challenge one of my challenges here of being a makeup artist my guys it's not an easy job we are still facing the challenges when we say we know the face man but we get hard with the moves anyone who feel we jump we pass and so so we see the face and what we say we know the face man but we are strong okay we got this okay so we move don't let anybody stop your shine, no. Not even one client. There are many other clients there that would like your, your your work. There are plenty of clients that are ready to work on you, ready for you to work on them. So don't let nobody stop your shine, girl. So yeah, I would like to hear your own challenge or one of your experiences that you've had being a makeup artist or you know working on a client. Regardless of the job that you're doing, whether you're a makeup artist or not. What challenge have you made, have you had around your job area? I would like to hear in the comment section. Are you a cook, engineer, whatever? I would like to hear it. So I'm open for it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do a sister a favor to like, comment, share this video to your friends, and most important of all, subscribe and turn on the post notification so that you can get more videos from me see you in my next video bye like sub um, subscribe to my right so okay wait i'm coming do a sister a favor a favor a favor mm. <laughs> you said, Anna, you put me for this light corner we are done for the day yeah we are done Let me continue my granite. Let me finish this granite before I do today.